What do you think it's going to be like that first playoff game in Golden One? I don't know, man. Uh, I can't even can't even picture. Uh, we'll just see tomorrow. Looking forward to it, though. This is your first experience in the playoffs. How much are you looking forward to that? Uh, that's all I'm doing, man. Looking forward to it. Uh, not trying to think about it too much. Uh, like you said, it's my first one. Um, not trying to dwell on it too much. So um, I'm just ready. The, the guys that have been there, how, how what have they been talking about in terms of the differences in the playoffs versus the regular season? Uh, every possession matters. Um, how intense it is. Um, how serious it is. Uh, so, yeah, they've been preaching a lot. Does any of this feel overwhelming or intimidating to you guys? No, nah, man, we're not intimidated. We're playing basketball. Uh, this is our job to go out there and perform. So, uh, this is what we're going to do. What's coach saying to you guys? I have practice to get you ready. Any inspiration? Hit somebody in the mouth. Um, that's about it. We got to hit first. Uh, that's, that's been our main goal all year, um, is to hit somebody first. Um, and when we did that, we won the game. So. If we do that, we'll be all right. Well, if you and the Aaron have been through some tough battles together, especially during that run with Kentucky Wildcats in 2017, can you just talk about how your trust and chemistry between you two can help you throughout this playoff? Uh, he's an all-star, man. Uh, so him just being him is going to be great for us, man. So I just, I just got to show up and give him a little help. Um, and, and I think we'll be all right from there. But yeah, man, our, our chemistry is great. Um, it, it's been like that since we've been in Kentucky. Now that uh, you the most about his development. Nothing. Nothing. I've been seeing this my, my whole life. I've been seeing him do the same thing his whole life, too. So uh, I'm not surprised. Malik, what's your, what's your game day routine tonight tomorrow? Are you going to wake up and what are you going to do? And do you think you anticipate any uh, extra butterflies or anything? Oh, uh, you definitely going to have butterflies in your first game coming into the arena. Um, but other than that, I can't give you my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen, like, you know, around town, there's all the Kings signage, Kings fans everywhere. They got the, play, you know, play playground. Or yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Like to see all that going on around town. Man, the environment is great. Uh, I love it. Um, it, it just gives me more hype to play, man. Um, and I, I'm, ha I'm happy Saturday is here, finally. Um, so we can go out there perform and, and what's, quit talking. What's been your impression of Kings fans in general being this year? First crazy. Time? They're crazy. Oh, I love it, though. Um, they're crazy. Um, and they're here for us. Um, everywhere I go, they say, um, take us to the playoffs, take us to the playoffs. Now we're here. Now they say we're in the playoffs. So uh, it's lovely. I love Are it. Are you bringing the Band-Aid back? Should we do that? I need, to, I need a cut somewhere on my face. I had a cut for real, so I, I can't just put the Band-Aid back. Uh, the league won't like that. You going to be able to sleep tonight? Of course. of course. How big of a factor do you think the, the bench units are going to be for these two teams? Uh, the bench is, uh, whew, that's a good question, man. The bench is going to be a big part uh, of both both teams, um, especially ours, man, because what we've been doing all year, uh, we got to keep it up. Uh, me and Dave Young got to keep the pressure up, keep the energy up, and uh, I think we'll do that. How important or how, how did the team receive Delhi's message in that team meeting you guys had earlier this week? And just how important has Delhi's presence been to this team throughout the season? His voice, man. His voice has been great because he's been through everything we're going through, um, even more. Um, he just he just knows a lot. Um, and he just gives us great pointers, great ideas, um, things to do, um, things not to do, stuff like that, man. He's been great. Any examples you can nope. give? Has Mike, has Mike changed his messaging at all from the regular season? No, it hasn't changed. Um, no, it hasn't changed at all. It hasn't how, changed at all. How important is it for him to maintain that same message, playoffs, regular season, training camp? Uh, I mean, I'm not a coach, man, so I, I don't know how important it is. Uh, but, but we've been hearing it, um, so we know what to do. Um, so we just got to go out there and do it. So to you, what does it mean in playoffs? Everything. If you, if you play basketball um, and want to be a professional, I think playing in the playoffs is where you want to be. Um, so it's everything to me, man. You have those playground moments growing up where you kind of kind of dream the buzz about beaters, this? Hitting the buzzer beaters in the playoffs, uh, things like that, man, definitely, definitely. I know context has been is a little complicated with your previous matchups, but what stood out to you watching those, those games back against Golden State? Uh, we got to stop them guys from um, getting easy, easy catches, easy shots, um, and, and just make everything difficult. Um, and when we do that, I think we'll be all right. All right, we go, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Malik. Appreciate you.